Now we solve the second part of this exercise with saturation. If the first tube amp on the left is energized from a power supply with voltages plus 10 and negative 10 volts, and VS1 is 14 volts and VS2 is 7 volts, 14 volts here and 7 volts here, determine with proof if that first tube amp on the left this one is either positive or negative saturated in this case if the other two pumps are energized from power supplies with plus 20 negative 20 both of them what is now the output voltage v naught of the whole circuit because these are three ideal op amps and there is no whole feedback loop from v naught all the way to vs this circuit can be analyzed isolated from the rest. If there were no saturation, this voltage would be equal to this one, would be zero volts. And this would be an inverter amplifier, and the gain would be negative two, which we have seen. We apply here 14 volts, and the output voltage in this node would have been negative 28 volts. But we know that is impossible because this op amp is being energized from a power supply with plus 10 and negative 10 volts. So we say it is impossible. This has to be saturated. And the first and natural guess is it's saturated at the negative value. It's negative saturated. The voltage is negative 10. So instead of negative 28, we say that voltage has to be negative 10. But we still need to prove that that is so. We need to prove that the op amp is negative saturated. We need to prove that this voltage, Vn, is greater than Vp. That is, in this case, because Vp is zero, we need to prove that Vn, this voltage, is positive. Well, we cannot assume anymore because there is saturation that this voltage, Vp, is Vn, of course. This current continues to be zero amps. We have just a voltage divider between 14 volts on this end and negative 10 volts at the other end. So we are dividing 14 minus minus 10, 24 volts between these two resistors. This voltage here will be 24 times 50 divided 75 that is two thirds of 24, which is 16 volts. If the voltage on this side is negative 10, the voltage on this side would be 16 volts higher. The voltage here is plus six volts. So indeed, Vn six volts is greater than Vp zero volts, and this op amp is negative saturated. That is the proof and the output voltage is negative 10, the negative saturated voltage. That takes care of that part of the exercise, but we still need to find what is V0. We continue. The voltage here is negative 10. At first, we assume that this op-amp is not saturated. Let's see if that holds. This voltage is 7 volts. This voltage is negative 10. And if we assume that there is no saturation because there is negative feedback, the current here is zero, the voltage here is seven volts as we saw before, and then this voltage would have been seven volts if there is no saturation in this op-amp. This resistor is the same as this one in value. The current here is zero implies that this current is the same current over here. So the voltage drop in this resistor has to be the same voltage drop in this resistor with the same polarity and everything. This node is 17 volts higher than this one. So this one is going to be 17 volts higher than 7. The voltage here would have to be positive 24 volts. But that is impossible because the source that is energizing this op amp is plus 20, negative 20 volts. So it makes sense, assuming that we have to test that this op amp is positive saturated and that this voltage actually is plus 20 volts. But we need to prove it. We need to prove that it's positive saturated. We need to prove that this voltage, Vp, 7 volts, 
is greater than Vn, whatever voltage we have here, which will not be 7 volts anymore. Because this current is zero, what we have between these two resistors is a voltage divider between negative 10 volts and positive 20 volts. 30 volts divided between them, both resistors have the same, so the drop in this resistor, of course, is going to be 15 volts. This is higher than this one. This is at 20 volts, we drop 15, the voltage here, Vn is 5 volts which is less than Vp, and we have proven that this op-amp is positive saturated and this uh, output voltage is correct, positive 20 volts. Now we move to the last one. We say uh, this input is 20 volts in here. Fine. If we assume that there is no saturation, just as the first approximation to check the behavior of this one, and because there is negative feedback, the voltage here would be the same VP, would be 20 volts. But the current here is zero. That means that this current is equal to that current in both resistors, is that this drop would be half the voltage drop produced in this 100 kilo ohm resistor we have 20 volts here we would have 40 volts here and the output voltage would have been 60 volts which is impossible because this op amp is energized by power supply with these smaller voltages so we say 60a impossible let's assume and we have to prove it that the op amp is positive saturated that is the output voltage is plus 20 volts we need to prove it well we begin that way we know that this voltage is 20 nothing we can do about that that is the output of an ideal amplifier 20 volts so we need to check that this voltage vn is less than 20 volts and in that case this will be effectively positive saturated and the output voltage will be plus 20 volts. Let's see what is this voltage. It's not 20 volts, of course. The output, we're assuming is 20. 20 divided by 3 because of this voltage divider, the current is 0, and this voltage is not 20 anymore. So this voltage is now 6.6 .6 periodic volts. And this is 20. So effectively, Vp is greater than Vn, and this is positive saturated, and the output voltage is positive, 20 volts, and that is the solution. Thank you very much.